Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mitchell. And today, Justin and I will be discussing the dating apps do's and don'ts. And if you guys find this video content of value, you guys can show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equal to this value of this video. We do this Instagram lives every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And without further ado, I am going to add Justin in here. So if you guys could just hang on tight for a second. Oh, also today is a it's a little bit special. We got a uh, an email from a viewer, so I'll be reading an email and just breaking it down for you guys, step by step, and ways to help improve his uh, situation next time. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Hello, Carter. Hello, Gwen. What's up, Justin? Drop a like. Drop a heart. Uh, Justin. Justin. Let's see. Dating apps. Do's and don'ts. Let me go live with <clears throat> And let me get this ready. Yo. What's good, home? What's good? What's good, Carter? How you doing? Oh, Mr. Yaku, Yaku, how you doing? What's up? <laughs> Just up in here adjusting still. You know, it always looks different when you get on live. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're looking good, man. Looking good. You know, you know. How's everybody doing today? Happy Tuesday. Yeah, we know the election's coming up, so yep. get your drinks ready, get your yep. shotguns, whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's it's cold. It's cold right now. I think uh, I'm... It is cold. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. I don't... I, I almost came out here bundled up with my hoodie yeah. and, like, a beanie <clears throat> cap, but I didn't want to look like, you know, I was mm -hmm. coming out <laughs> state property or nothing yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So get the bubble goose. So, yeah. So Justin, is there anything that you want to say to uh to Amazon? Yeah, uh, hurry the fuck up, man. All right, this is <laughs> this is COVID time. All right, this is trying times. I need my sponsorship. Mm -hmm. All right, um, you know Justin. what it is. All yeah. right, you know what it is. Justin in different room. I'm actually yeah. in the same room. I right, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna share something with y'all real quick. I only stream from two places. If I'm at my place, I'm in my room. That's when I have the sun and I look holy and angelic, you know. And then, yeah. uh, or I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in the kitchen right yeah. now, as you can see. You know, the, the my fancy mm -hmm. studio, mm -hmm. living it up as it is. So mm -hmm. yeah, good good times, good times, real oh, good times. I'm sorry, I'm still let... getting organized a little bit. I was trying to. Uh, Oh, no worries. No worries. I yeah. am. Let's see. Is this how you. All right. Anyways. Anyways. So today it's it's uh, it's a little bit special because we got a view. Uh, I got an email from a viewer. Um, from a woman. And uh, whenever you're ready, Justin, let's head it off. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, we can start it up. I'm just I'm pulling up the email. <laughs> So that's okay, all that for sure. is. So yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, pulling it up. I'm trying to make this full screen. <laughs> Yaku was like, we need to get you a backdrop. Uh, you, look, I'm working on it, okay? what One thing at a time. <laughs> one thing <laughs> at a time, okay? You, yeah. You know, and, and don't, you know what? Don't shame me, okay? <laughs> don't don't yeah. shame me because of, because of my stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, man. We can we can kick it off. We can kick it. All off. right. I, I, yeah. I can't make this bigger, so we'll just do it like that. Okay. Cool. So let's start it off, Justin. <clears throat> so the email starts off saying, "Dear Mitchell, I met a cute guy off Hinge on one of the higher quality dating apps. He messaged me a lot and made it known that he was enthusiastic when talking to me. When we met up, he quickly hugged me." And when deciding on what to do next, he listed all the options, then repeated that he is fine with whatever I want. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop right there. Mm -hmm. Let's go off with this. Uh, he started off in a very good in a very good place. The fact that she pointed out that he was a cute guy, bonus points, on one of the higher quality dating apps. <clears throat> 
Uh, he was enthusiastic. Yeah, he was enthusiastic yeah. talking to me. Now, mm-hmm. I hope that when he was uh, being enthusiastic, that he wasn't projecting too much interest too fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't. I think it's good to. Uh, it it once it just depends. Mm-hmm. I will, you know, I will start this off first yeah. and foremost. You know, uh, mm-hmm. we talked before. I haven't done the online dating thing, mm-hmm. so this is all theory for me. All right, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is my hypothesis. So we what, go Gwen, why are you laughing? But Gwen, why um, you laughing? Yeah, but, but most of the, like, I, quick, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I don't think it's so much. I don't think it's really wrong that uh, mm-hmm. you know he was enthusiastic. You know, yeah, let her know that mm-hmm. you're excited to see this person, but there most definitely mm-hmm. is like a cap or a level on that. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't want to mm-hmm. be too enthusiastic because you start yeah. scaring people off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I always believe that the guy should not show or at least project too much interest, especially in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Because it usually scares off the woman. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm just going to continue on with the email. Oh, wait a um, minute. Uh, oh, one more point. I'm sorry. Because oh, yeah. you mentioned like he started off with a hug. Yes, he started off with the hug. I will say this. Uh, that, I think, is a good move. Okay. That's a really Why? good move. Because it's you, you can get a lot, a lot of information from, like, that one action. Number one, don't, first off, dude, don't hug creepy. All right? You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. like. You You're not them, trying to fill up on, all up on our chest. Yeah, you don't right? be a pervert. Don't, don't be, be a like pervert. That, but it's a great way to say hi. Most mm-hmm. definitely. First off, it kills the mm-hmm. uh like it creates like contact, which is always good, especially mm-hmm. when you're trying to get like to know someone or you know in a romantic break that setting. contact so, barrier. It's like that. yeah, so you break yeah. it off right off the point. Mm-hmm. Then you can get a lot of information. You know, if you give a, a hug and like she's into it, she's mm-hmm. you know reciprocating the hug. You know, maybe even going closer. That's like okay, I can see if she's excited or at least likes what she sees, or mm-hmm. you know she's feeling good about this this whole. Um, yeah situation so you can play that off or conversely if you notice like okay this seems a little stiff it seems mm-hmm. a little frigid if you will or like she seems a little closed off you know okay mm-hmm. he's on a guard um it's gonna take a little bit of time you know let me back off number one yeah if you could hug and read, you the, feel read that, the room read the room, room. yeah read the room. Feel like Okay, she's not feeling this a little bit. Most definitely. Okay. All right, cool. Hug. You you still broke that barrier. You still show your intent. Back off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Continue on. So I Mm -hmm. actually think the hug is a really good move. Yeah, because there are girls out there that doesn't mind, uh, you know, hugs. And there are girls out there that that just wouldn't want it in the beginning. Maybe it's too intimate. That's something that they don't feel comfortable doing. And that's the choice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, Mm -hmm. and, and, but, um, yeah. Yeah, we can move yeah. on. That's pretty much what I had to say. Yeah, just yeah. it's a good, it's a good move. Just use yeah. it more as a tool. Don't be a a pervert. You know, he should have picked it yeah. instead of giving too many options. Shows you got things under control. Well, yes. he's going. You're getting ahead of yourself, sir. Okay, <laughs> getting ahead uh, of yourself. When deciding on what to do next, he listed all the options, and he repeated that it was fine with whatever I want. So you know, going back to what Yaku just mentioned earlier. Um. Uh, and we spoke about this, Justin. We we talked about how it is good to have different suggestions, but you as a guy should already have a place in mind that you wanted to take her. Now, of course, let's just say you had like two options, and you you, you had either sushi, like Japanese, or you'd be like, well, I kind of want a burrito or something. You know, whatever, whatever it is, right? It doesn't have to be super fancy or nothing. And let's just say she doesn't want to eat fish or whatever that day. She just wasn't feeling Japanese. Then yeah. Have a different uh, suggestion, but at least make it make it your choice as the guy to lead. That's the that's the whole objective. Or ramen, yeah, right, Gwen? Ramen. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, 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 no, exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, especially the first date. Especially you need to have you need, you, need to like... have, you need to have a decision made. Yeah. But then I thought about it in the context of yeah, it, it's. It's online. You never met yeah. this person before. You don't yeah. know. So it, it's like having an option, mm-hmm. I think, in this case, like you said, is a good idea. The problem is you need to have two, two, three, and max. You can't just go in and... We we eat Burger King tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, if, that, if that's... 
Now look, if you can pull that off, you need to start a podcast. All right, <laughs> Burger King on the first night and it's going. All right, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. that's a, that's a couple decision. That's a couple decision against your health. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like that's what you need deep a little bit. You gotta yeah, have yeah, it yeah. there. But um, no, nah, most definitely. Like you need to say, hey, um, mm. I know this great. You know, like you said, I know this great sushi spot. I like to go to. You, you know, you are cool with that, yeah. or you know, you down. Or she's like, "Ooh, I'm a like, What do you think? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you um, think? or oh, okay, that's fine. I know a Mexican spot not too far away. Let's, you know, yeah. so like, it's, yeah, I think it's good go. to have those decisions have different, like, yeah. back to back. But exactly. the presentation is like most definitely everything. Yes. You know, like you said, it seems. It, I think it gives the the impression that you didn't put any time or thought into what you want to do oh, with or, this person, and yeah, it's or, like it's, and it's indecision. Mm-hmm. Or maybe yeah. he just wasn't like he he just wanted to please her. It's all about pleasing her, and sometimes that comes off as is that is this a word inauthentic? Not authentic. There it goes. Yeah. So it doesn't come off as authentic. It doesn't feel genuine to her. Whereas mm-hmm. you know, where if you come from a place of confidence, it's what you want. This is it's 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 genuine, and that's you know we spoke about that in our earlier uh, videos too. Mm-hmm. But moving on. During dinner, he kept saying he doesn't want to bore me, that it is no rush to eat, that he hopes that he has shown me that he is not a bad guy. So already with those two sentences right there, he doesn't want to bore me. Why are you even in that mindset? Why are you even in that mindset saying that I don't want to bore you? And if you are boring her, change it. You don't have to talk about it. Do something. Hey, let's have some fun. What? This is place that I know, blah, 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 et cetera. Mm. Do something. I, well, yeah, this is, and this comes to like the crux of this whole email, this whole mm-hmm. situation, which, uh, yeah, obviously we read this before and talked about mm-hmm. it. But like the dude just, he ain't got no confidence, man. You know, mm-hmm. and we've talked before about having confidence. And I think it, it's been in a very abstract way of what that looks like. But like this right here, when y'all say like you need to have confidence or a lack of confidence is not attractive. Mm-hmm. Like this is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, he, you know, yeah, the whole, I'm looking off to camera cause I'm reading this email myself. No, it's all good. But, it's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It doesn't mm-hmm. want to bore me. There is no mm-hmm. rush to eat. Like that's a lot of, mm-hmm you know, reassuring, like, it's okay, it's okay. He needs like, re- yeah. this, You know, that's not a good look. Um, yeah. It's a first date. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a first date. Like, mm-hmm. I think he was, um, he most definitely, like, if you're boring yeah. somebody or you're worried about boring somebody, I think you need to start <laughs> thinking about, like, instead of saying, oh, am I boring you? Am I boring you? You need to look at how you can change that. Energy. Change it, Yes. You know, ladies in the room, if you if you're listening to this, press one if you agree. Just press one <laughs> if you agree. Yeah, uh, it's what, bad. What, what I'm, I'm sorry, I'm reading. I'm reading. Yaku. It's bad if you think you'll bore someone on first meet. Mm-hmm. So much to like. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. I mean, so much it, you it, learn from each other in the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like I mean, you shouldn't run out of questions at that point. I don't think, and that goes into another thing. Jumping ahead a little bit, it's just like it, the guy obviously has a oh lack of social iq mm-hmm. gwen said you know, one gwen yeah reading a room mm-hmm. yeah i mean it's the first ask yeah. her, hey where, where'd you grow up that could be a 20 minute conversation right there yeah. you know yeah. or what do you do for a living or depending mm-hmm. on how much interaction y'all had uh on the app so yeah it's just it's this is when i when we say lack of confidence this mm-hmm. is exactly what i'm talking about right mm-hmm. here yeah okay moving on it says I told I told him I am the type that wants space. He said he could give me all the space I need and to let him know that when I don't want as much space. So first of all, she will let you know if she doesn't want space. She will she will get in contact with you. Um the fact that she even mentioned that on a first date or first hangout, whatever you guys want to, you know, kind of see this as the fact yeah, that she is it, pointing exactly. out that I want space is not a good sign. It means that the guy is already projecting too much interest. And it's kind of like this. Look, if I were to approach a girl and I approached her in a way that conveyed that I had showed too much interest, what would she say? 
and she, let's just say she has no interest in me. She would say, I have a boyfriend. Whether or not she has one or not, it's a, you know, it kind of, it just brushes me off. It's kind of like, well, I have a boyfriend. You don't have a shot with me anymore. Same thing for the same thing over here where, you know, she says she wants space. She is, uh, he is obviously projecting too much interest too quick. I mean, first, yeah. first, first, oh no, you can read uh, and the way he keeps assuring Wednesday. he's not a bad guy. That's what makes the women feel like he's not. Yeah. He's assuring he's not a bad guy. Yeah, I mean that's a that's 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 a show. <laughs> you don't say I'm not a bad guy. Yeah. Like yeah, that's a that's a show. Don't tell. That's a movie <laughs> reference. If I'm it's not like, here saying like I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a bad guy, you know, I'm picking yeah. babies and puppies and shit. It's yeah, like yeah. I'm not a bad guy, you know. Yeah. Ted Bundy didn't think he was a bad guy either. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be yeah. careful with that. That's not yeah, yeah. That's not a good look. Um, it's like going into a you know. It's like yo, I. Um, I don't cheat. It's like I never asked you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Justin, how you doing? Other Justin, what's up, man? Yeah, but but back on this topic, like, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's a first date. You know, the the space Mm -hmm. conversation. I feel like should not come up Mm -hmm. until you. It should be at least dating a month or two. Yeah, it is. You say like, yeah, I need some like like this is the first date. This is the first time you've met this person. In Losing person, a lot of points. Like, <laughs> I'm the type. <laughs> yeah, I'm the type that needs space. It's yeah. like, yo, I just met you. Yeah, it's like what Yakuza, Yakuza. It's like saying I'm not a rapist. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, it is. It, is. it really yeah, is. I'm, I'm not really a lot is. of bad things. Yeah. I'm not a lot of horrible things. You know. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. It, but uh, yeah, yeah. So that's how you know already that. Okay. Whatever he's done, the energy, what he's saying, how he's doing, it, it's a lot. It's overbearing. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, this should be a time to get to know each other, not like yeah. A, yeah. I'm the type that needs space. <laughs> that's, a, that's a harsh line. Like, that is. is. I all- mean, if she had to say that, obviously, it was something that he was projecting that was too hard. But uh, moving on. Date is over. Yeah, it's already over. And this, I'm, um, Anyways, during dinner, he proceeds to talk about our next few dates. Ask me what kind of restaurants I liked, and then he can take me there next time. Our day just started. <laughs> Our day just started, and when he was pl- and he was already planning the next. Now go ahead and read that no, next no. line because <laughs> I think that's very important. No, read that next one. Read it. All right. Yeah. All right. I had to ask him if he has ever gone out on a date with a woman before because he seems so excited. Okay. All right, yeah. ladies, if you're here, if you if you're also in this chat, say something. Say something. Um, but, uh, what do you have to say, Justin? There's a, that's that's a lot. He's already yeah, planning your next few days. Listen, this why is, is that, why is that? And, uh, and granted, this is an email, so I'm kind of yeah. putting it together. But mm-hmm. the way that she worded this, I'm assuming that they're still in the early stages of the first date. Yeah. You know, yeah. like maybe, maybe early, like like early, maybe they're an hour in, an hour yeah. and a half, something like that. But this is very like, first off, you don't even know this person. Yeah, as as coming from the guy's perspective, he is like you don't even know her. You like talk to her for a little bit. <laughs> you know, what I mean, figure out if yeah. you want that other yeah. day. Let let this date end. Go home and then let think her about think the about, date. Yeah, like think you of, think about it as a guy. Yeah, you think about I mean, she'll be thinking about it too, but you think about it. Did you enjoy yourself? (laughs) Did she seem to enjoy herself? Like, these are questions you ask yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, how well did I do? Did it, did, did, you know, was there a spark? That kind of shit. And then when you check in, a couple days later, I don't even, you know what? I'll let it, let it. I, I know. It, I, I know the couple days later thing is like the standard or like the thing, but I even like checking in briefly, like the next day. You know, like I don't think that's too desperate. You know, you give it a give it a day, give it you know roughly twenty four hours or something. Hey, uh, had a good time last night. You know, hope to see you again. Bam, something like that, some shit like that, whatever. But yeah, the fact that this is just starting, I might have to disagree going. with that just a little bit, just on yeah. my end. I might, I might have no, to disagree I, with yeah. that just no, on I, my I, end. I feel yeah, because I know, yeah. I know most definitely that there's yeah, like the standards of like you know, yeah. give a give a like at least you know two three days and that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. 
But, you know, I, I think if you – I will say this, too. I do think it depends on, like, how the date mm -hmm. goes for the both of you. Like, if it was just a fun little casual experience, mm -hmm. yeah, two days, that's fine, whatever. If there mm -hmm. seemed to really be something there. Mm -hmm. What's up, Alan? Dropping by to say what up? What up? How you doing? We're reading there really, the email right now. Mm -hmm. If there really seemed to be something there, I think you can most definitely, like, mm -hmm. check in the next day quickly. You're not going to have a whole conversation. But mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, yeah. Yeah, like no, that's 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 way too much. Like, so, yeah, you you're running it off. It it once he's, again, he's and running I mean, he's ahead. Yeah, lack of confidence, mm -hmm. and it's also desperation. It's like you just met this person. He's already trying to lock her down. For two, yeah, three, it's four like days. It's, yeah, that, it's like yeah, that that is uh, he he's and, he's scaring her off. Yeah, but you know, spoiler alert, that's what he ends up doing. Yeah. You know, so yeah. um one he she has to work for him in a way. To a degree, she has to so when we spoke about on our previous videos, we, we, we mentioned let it be her idea. This is part of that let it be her idea. So you're on this date, you took her out or hang out, whatever you guys want to call it, and then at the end of that you know, you can let her know, hey, you know, I had a fun time today. And that's, or tonight, whatever. And then leave it at that. And then if she decides that she wants more, she will come to you. She will come to you. But also know that you're not the only guy. If she's dating, she's probably going to be seeing other people too. So what makes you the best candidate? It's the guy that is not needy, letting it be her idea. She will come back to you if she wants. Now, if there are other people that she has... um she already have lined up that has, you know, maybe she's just a little bit more attracted to that person. Let let them kind of run the way out of it. Let the other guys, most men out there don't know what they're doing. So they usually talk their way out of the girls liking them anyways. So if even if you're not in the lead, you might be. There's a good chance. Um, let's see. Yeah, I still, yeah. I, I even, well, with that one, I even still just take it from the fact that, like, you're yeah. still getting to know this person. Like, you can't hello. control. Hello. Rotten What's Pumpkin. Up? Rotten Pumpkin. Hi. Hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you're still getting to know this person. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can't control her. You can't control mm -hmm. how she feels, what she does. You can create an environment. Mm -hmm. um, and he is like running ahead. It's like you ain't even got time to know if this person. You don't know shit. Yeah, about this you don't even know if you like. She, him. she might be a Nazi for all you know. <laughs> you know, what I'm yeah. I mean, you, you just you don't know. So yeah, um, yeah he this dude he just getting ahead of himself, man. I actually feel bad for this guy for real. Like yeah. this is like it, it, yeah. But that's the I thing feel, though. Like it's okay to to do these things because as long as you learn from it. That is okay, which is the whole reason why we're breaking this email down from, from a woman's per, uh, perspective. This is what she's telling us. We're just reading it off and just basing off this whole situation. There's a lot of things that he could have done because, you know, like I said in the beginning, she said that he, I met a cute guy off hinge. That's a good compliment. And, you know, he started out pretty good. And then it kind of just went downhill from there. Well, I mean, I was going to. It I, just went down. I was going to bring that point up when we was like <clears throat> wrapping up the email. But uh, yeah, that's something yeah. I wanted to say. It's like, yeah. you know, this is an online date now. So it's like, just mm -hmm. off jump, like she's just going off what she sees and what she reads in yeah. the profile. So yeah. off jump, he's one. That means she found him attractive and what he had visually. To say visually. Engaged. Yes. Yes, so, yes. you know, I think, and that goes to kind of what we say, like, a lot of dudes, you know, like, I, we, we lucky as dudes. We really are, because yeah. cause the truth is, is like, in a lot of ways, it don't really matter what the fuck we look like, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like, we'll get on here and we talk about dating, and we may talk, we talk about it from, like, the, the guy's perspective and women, mm -hmm. but one thing I will most definitely say about women, which is freaking amazing about them, is they will love a dude for some other shit. Mm. You know, they're not like us. They're not as visually inclined as we are. Being mm -hmm. attractive helps. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Yeah. But if you can open up, like most of the, listen, some of the dudes I knew that had the strongest game was some ugly motherfuckers, man. I knew this dude that looked like a walking piece of shit who pulled Mr. one of the, 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 yeah, you know Mr. what I'm Hanky. talking about. Pulled one of the, the, you know, a very <laughs> beautiful young lady. Yeah. Yes. So, like, you know, 
So, I mean, this is when we come up with, like, confidence and everything, man. Yeah. Like, he he had what a lot of guys are probably already lacking. Like, he had the visual mm-hmm. goods to get the date. Mm-hmm. And, and, after and that's that, a good was, open. That's a yeah, good open. And it was yeah. the lack of confidence yeah. that fucked him in the long run. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just something to learn from, man. Like, you have to be... Yeah, beyond well, you know, Beyonce and Jay Z. Granted, Jay Z is a mogul mm-hmm. at this point, mm-hmm. so you know what I mean. Beyonce <laughs> you know and Jay, you know what I mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a mogul, and being a mogul helps, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> most definitely. But yeah, okay. Um, so we're almost about wrapping uh, this email up, uh, and it says, "Let's see." So it says, "Our date was he was already planning the next." Uh, I had to ask him if he ever been on a date with a woman because he seemed so excited. <laughs> Down here from there. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, the next day, he messaged me saying that he will give me space. Ooh, okay. Um, that he felt a connection. He felt a connection and a spark. And if I felt the same way, we could go, uh, we could go from there. But no pressure. But no pressure. Um, he also said, I'd rather... Uh, if I rather not talk, that is okay as well. And that I hope I find the person I am looking for. That's that's all he said in that. Or that's what she he told her. Yeah, so uh, let's break that down, Justin. The next day he messaged me saying that he would give me space. And that he felt a connect. Okay, so if you felt a connection and a spark, okay, let's just say that was genuine and that's something that you guys really had, okay? Why would you say that sentence before that that you would give her space are you well, asking me are yeah, you right. asking yeah, me before it's out the mind oh, of yeah, the like, this is a rhetorical question like, like i mean this is like i yeah. think that i mean he, this is a yeah. he's rambling on it's a lot of desperation yes you know yes. it's a lot of grasping that straw yes. like what he wanted her to respond was hey i don't need space i enjoy myself i felt the spark too let's do it like that's what he was hoping that text would incite and then he the like no pressure is like her way out mm-hmm. it's like you know i'm saying all this but no pressure if you don't feel it so he could doesn't seem like he he's over pressure. there yeah but, but but he is for real yeah, he is he is yeah. you know because he really that's like the answer he really wants he and really then it's wants. also yeah. it's also like a uh Oh, it's again, it's desperation, and it's like almost like a defense mechanism of mm-hmm. like, you know, you know, he 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 gave her the option, so either way, I'm gonna be okay. Like, which we know that ain't true. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, homie, just like I said, this is a whole lot. Um, yeah, this is uh this breaking he, this down. Just he he most definitely. Do you I think he's gonna get to the second date? No, no. I mean, do you think I he think can it, salvage this? Hell no, this is done. Listen, the, on, on a date, she goes, have you ever been out with a woman before? Yeah. That's, a, <laughs> that's, that's, a, a... that's a terrifying statement. Like, I've, yeah. yeah, I'm not the smoothest person in the world, but I've never got hit with that shit. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta, like, and maybe it is the first time he's been out with a woman, but he gotta fake it till he make it. But that means he was putting out some kind of energy that wasn't right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I keep bringing it back, but it's this is what I was, when I say lack of confidence, this is what it looks like right here, man. You gotta, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe this is his very first date. You know, maybe, maybe it's he, been a date in a long time. Maybe he's just been out of the loop. Yeah, okay. maybe okay. he got married young. Maybe he's Amish. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> maybe he was in a bomb shelter. He came out. You know, but yeah, <laughs> this was like yeah. you gotta, uh, you gotta hopefully learn from this because it was a yeah. lot. It was heavy. It was too much. Uh, yeah, but a lot of mistakes there- were made. So here's a breakdown of uh, some of the solutions, though. So first off, she did say he's a cute guy. So a little bonus points from there. Gave a mm-hmm. hug. You agreed to. You agree that that hug was a good move. You know, yeah, you feel, you feel the room a little bit. Feel the room. Um, because of the hug, it's kind of like, yo, I'm showing like interest. Like I am not here as a friend. Yeah. And it depends on the type of hug too. If you you know, yeah, yeah, don't um, hit her with that that side hug. That's a yeah, friend. I mean, move. Yeah, don't that's hit her side, with the side hug. You want to hit her with the you know. But don't, full you don't also want that. But that you're also head. not. 
Yeah, yeah that, but you're also that, not being a pervert of like yeah, just holding like, it down. You got yeah. yeah you a, don't want her chest all up on yours too, like that. Women knows that, all right. When you do that shit, they know it. They're like, you obviously want my goodies on your on your chest. Um. So yeah, yeah don't do that. Uh. Let's see. Uh. You know, he did list places, so that was cool. But what I would suggest maybe next time is you know choose two places. But choose one definite one that you want to to go. Like I said, you have Japanese or like you want like a burrito and Mexican food. But let's just say Japanese was your first choice. Hey, I know that's a very good place. It's a, it's a Japanese restaurant. Let's go over here. How does that yeah. sound? Mm, I'm not really uh, – I don't really like raw fish or whatever. Okay, well, mm-hmm. uh, I also have another suggestion, which is you know, Mexican food. This is a very good spot not too far from here as well. Boom. Covered. Now, if, of course, you know, you work with her. Oh, I'm allergic to X, Y, and Z. Okay. You know, figure something out. But you got to figure it out. As yeah. um, during dinner, he doesn't want to bore me. That's something you don't have to say. You don't have to say, I don't want to bore you. You, you fix it with, uh, with your actions. You fix it with your actions. There's no rush to eat. I wouldn't even say that anyways. Uh, and he showed me I'm not a bad guy. Yeah, I'm also not a rapist. So, don't say that. Take all that. That, that they gonna sound. They gonna sound right? clip that, and they just gonna put yeah. that in your declaration <laughs> for yourself. So you need to be careful when you say that kind of shit. All right, just yeah. you know, just this uh, a look yeah. out for listen, you. Listen to the entire video before you clip one thing. All right, guys. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um, yeah. And then the fact that she uh, said um, that she even had to say, "I am the uh, I'm the type that wants space." You're already projecting too much interest. I would not have no, done that. Means, uh, that means I want space from you. I want space from you. You are giving you. You're projecting too much interest, and it's it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. You need to take a step back, maybe a couple steps back. Let me have my space. It feels like you're already trying to like label her or something. Like, what are we? Which is more of a feminine trait. You know, we talked a lot about masculinity and feminine energy, where. Uh, you know, feminine energy is kind of like, oh, like, lock, kind of like the locking down, like, what are we? And, you know, we mentioned that it is her idea. So if she ever mentions, you know, so what are we? Let's just say months down the line, she really likes you. So what are we? That's when you su- suggest something, right? But besides that, you don't try to lock her down for anything. And that's what he did for the next few dates. And I would not suggest you know suggesting few days like this date didn't even end yet and yet you're already saying all the stuff it's not her idea no more it's yours mm-hmm. it, it was the guys um and then he's planning the next uh let's see what else what else he seemed too excited yeah maybe lower the energy just a little bit or at least match her energy what do you think justin matching her energy is good maybe just a little bit more it's okay i mean yeah yeah you gotta know who you're talking to Yeah, um, yeah, man, you need to know who you're talking Mm -hmm. to. You need to, yeah, it's a social setting, like I said. This whole thing, Mm -hmm. the whole point of this is to get to know each other, yes, you need to treat it as such. And like I said, this dude is it's just a it's a severe lack of confidence all Mm -hmm. over. Um, yeah, desperation, that whole thing. He he Mm -hmm. needs to, like I said, I feel kind of bad for the dude because I and I'm coming at this from like the perspective of he had the most well-meaning intentions like mm-hmm. listen he could be mm-hmm. crazy we don't know this sorry we, we don't, don't know, know that. Crazy, yeah. but i'm assuming he's a but good where, guy yeah, yeah 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 and you know he was just really excited and like over exerted himself <laughs> severely yeah. on this whole thing mm-hmm. um but i i mean he, i can't preach it enough this is when like he needs to figure out what it is that uh he's not comfortable with with himself mm-hmm. or anything and so quick What's up, Queen May? And then he needs to yeah. mo- like work on that. Like his social IQ is pretty much non-existent at this point. Um, yeah, it, it, I keep saying, but it is. It's just it's a lack of confidence. And maybe you know, you brought up a good point. Maybe he hasn't dated in a while. Maybe this is his first date. You know, maybe that's something he'll get over it. Is if he dates more <laughs> and learn. <laughs> we, I'm not saying that. Tell it in uh, and, and learn it. it. Yeah, yeah, you know. If he wants someone to touch his penis, he's going to have to uh, <laughs> do <laughs> he's You just lost to. that sponsorship <laughs> from Amazon Prime. Some people oh, are in oh, love with their hostage figures. 
I mean, this is a possibility, but that's also high risk, high reward. You know, what I mean, the high risk I is, is, say, is pri- I don't is want prison to for do life. With that. Or yeah, death, cool. You know, uh, <laughs> I don't. you're also taking someone as a hostage. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what do I have to do? <laughs> now, how you doing? Uh, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. Uh, let's see. Where do I, le- where do I leave off? Sorry. Let me see. During dinner, if it's he, okay. Yeah. He asked, he was, he was already trying to schedule more dates when he should have just let it be her idea. You know, kind of let marinate, let her think about it. Create so give her the space to kind of think about you. Let that attraction build, and let it be her idea. She will reach out to you if she wants you. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, she said, "Have you ever been on a date with a woman?" I would have just stopped, paid for the bill, and just walk home, man. Or I just <laughs> um, and yeah, the, you know, the next day he messaged me saying that he would give me space and that he felt a connection and a spark. I don't know where how that kind of mixes in because why would you give space and then you know like I felt a spark so it's, a, it's he's asking for a lot of reassurance he's putting her on a pedal stool he's doing too much to to please her and it doesn't it's not coming off genuine it's not coming off genuine and a woman wants a guy that is genuine that's confident that knows what he wants already Kui said. I'm going to have to read this in silent before I read it out loud. Hold on. Should guys oh, okay. pay for oh, yeah. split? Oh, yeah. Pay no, for no, I, I yeah. think dudes, yeah. dudes should most definitely pay. Mm-hmm. I ain't splitting, especially the first bill. I ain't doing it. I just think it's a bad look. Um, yeah. yeah. I wasn't raised that way just to be blunt, you know, because a home is broke. They get none of that EDD. <laughs> nah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> listen, that's how you get creative. All right. You invite her out for a brunch and bring yeah. some crackers and cheese or some shit. Crackers you know? and cheese. <laughs> You know, yeah. Um, yeah no, this um, no, the dude. I I keep saying that, and I'm gonna keep saying it yeah. until like people understand. It's just it's just a severe lack of confidence. <clears throat> um, yeah, man, too much just like pleasing, too much this. Yeah, man. he needs to, you know, yeah. the sense like it's we said it to it's a first date. It's a simple. Yeah. It's like a semi job interview. Like you should be yeah. talking, getting to know that person. You, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, he like just he, came he, off as, uh, as non confident and desperate and indecisive. Like he, and it ran yeah. away. You don't go into a job interview and be like, I know there are other people better than me. Uh, I, you know, like you just don't keep shooting yourself down on the foot every single time. Like sometimes just shut up. Yeah. You know, just shut up. And it's okay. It's okay. You can learn from it. Um, uh, yeah, and there's no pressure. He's also he's okay. Like, and then at the end, he was like, "Oh, you know, it's it's all up to you whether you decide." Which is, I would say, that is not a bad move. But like, there's nothing that he could do at the very end that he could salvage this. Like you said, he can well, salvage. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a desperate hail mary. Yeah, of mm-hmm. of an attempt, and this is yeah. like, yeah, it, it's yeah. just he. Yeah, he. It was a desperation. Like, hey, you know, you decide, you do the, and he might have meant that. Sincere. In a good way, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You might like, really meant like, look, you decide. No matter how you feel, I want to respect your choice. That kind of stuff. But it, it w- that alone is not bad. But like when you add that with everything else, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's not like a bad, good look, man. Just, like I said, the dude just he he probably yeah. overthought it. You know, if he thought it at all, he was probably too worried, way too nervous. Um, you know how I see this is, it, yeah, yeah, and just didn't, yeah, just kind of spiraled. You know, how I see this is like a cat and mouse game. It's like this chase, and uh, let's just you know, she's the cat and he's like the mouse, right? Mm-hmm. She knows at any moment I could get him. That there is, I I don't even have to work for this. So she's not gonna appreciate it as much. Like she never even worked. She didn't even have to lift a finger for you. So but what see, makes this- you think she will have to appreciate that? But like no, she wouldn't I would, even respect you. Mm-hmm. I I actually disagree with that because I don't think it's it's not even a like like I don't have to work for a thing. I look at it as like it's a co- complete like I'm like I thought this guy was cute and then this is not this I'm completely unattracted unattracted to any other. It's not even like a like ooh I could get this if I wanted to so make me work for it. Like yeah, this is like. 
it was killed from the jump. Yeah, so you he's a dead I mean? mouse at this point. He's like, I could, it, it was like, no one wants to play jump. with anything. So, dead. Yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't even that. It was, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this, it, it was just a bad day, man. Like the truth is, at this point, you know, if if I was in his situation, if I, if I transported to him in the middle of the day. And like I was already in that point of no return where it's like, have you ever dated a woman before or anything like that? It's, uh, you know, at that point I'm switching gears. I'm going like either this isn't working and we cut this date early or, yeah. you know, we're, we're out, you know, he, I'm having a good time, but you know, this is not going to be a romantic encounter. So let's just have some fun, mm-hmm. chill, kick it. And then like, this is it. But know that yeah. you're not gonna get out the friend zone, so don't expect anything out of it. Uh, but let's see but what even he, that, that's... yeah, he could have had that pop quiz brain freeze <laughs> during that date, and when he liked, uh, when he liked her more in person, yeah, that's a possibility. Just like yeah, wow, ma- you know, because we're very uh, men, we're very visual creatures, so we could look at a girl and know nothing about her and be like, yeah, I could be with her for the rest of my life. Like I would marry her. It's like, no, no, you don't know anything about her. Yeah. I mean, that's probably a big part of it too. You know? Yeah. I'm sure like that has something to do with it. <clears throat> like I said, he, yeah. At the, yeah. You mentioned like, yeah, you're not getting out of the friend zone, but mm-hmm. I think even that, that takes a certain amount of confidence. And like I said, yeah. in this whole thing, I get the impression he's just lacking there. Like you gotta, if, because yeah. we talked about the friend zone before, and it yeah. is a very contentious yeah. subject just in general. Mm-hmm. But I will say that it's not, I'm not one of those dudes that think like men and women can't be friends or like men and women mm-hmm. shouldn't be friends. But what I do think is that I do agree that you shouldn't be friends with the people that you only see them as like you want more than just friends. Like if, yeah. if at yeah. that point you, you just like you just lying to yourself and there's no respect. Yeah, that that's yeah. pretty much the point I was yeah. gonna make. Like, if yeah. you you can be friends, say they like, yeah, they on this date, and he finds her attractive. Yeah, but there's nothing gonna work out there. If he has that mindset to like, look, this ain't going nowhere. But you know, you cool. Maybe she and I'm got friends. This. Yeah, I'm enjoying. <laughs> Maybe this. she got friends. You yeah. could be friends, but that takes a certain level of confidence to like yeah. understand. Like, you're not gonna just be hanging around hoping that one day she decides to pick you. That's yeah. how you end up in that situation. Yeah, and um, most guys falls into that situation thinking like, "Yo, I could, I could change her mind." Like, no, you, you're in the friend zone. Yeah, That's most it. definitely. So it's like you gotta, uh, <clears throat> most definitely need to work on this confidence, man. I mean, I yeah. said it like 38 times at this point. Yeah. The dude is, you know, he lacks confidence. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a, I, my heart goes out to him. Hopefully, he can figure that shit out mm-hmm. if he's not a sociopath. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, you're lucky yeah. you got away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm, I'm I mean, sorry, he, he's he's lucky to even be on that date because, you know, she found him visually nah, appealing, see, you know, I, which I, is I, cool, which is cool. I, I'm, I'm got, not even, I, I'm not going to put him on that. I, I ain't going to do that to the dude. I ain't going to say he's lucky to be on the date. I'm going to say that. He lucky to he, be on the date, man. I'm just, <laughs> no, no, I ain't going to say that. Because there was no I, way, if there was not a dating app, there was no way that he would have gotten that chance. Come on. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. No, but no he, way. He, he might look. Like, this is the thing. He might be good on the on the open, but just suck at the actual date part. Like that's a different game. You know what I mean? You meeting maybe. somebody at the club maybe. and right. like getting a number is, is, maybe. is a whole other situation than like going out on a date, spending actual time. You're talking about the difference between chess and checkers at that point. Yeah, but then you know, I'm I'm willing so. to put my bet on the table that like if you know how to open and you saying all that shit like this. It's it's kind of like you learn how to run before you even learn how to walk. But like, then who? But then who? Maybe. Say, maybe. I mean, we don't know that this is the problem. Is we don't know this dude, so it, all this is a lot of speculation. Yeah. But I mean, this dude could even be so far as like maybe he ain't never had to. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't know what this motherfucker look like. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, people are brave um, behind the screen. That's that's yeah, most definitely yeah, cool. a, a yeah. thing. He might have been like he Yo, might be super this. smooth behind the thing. Yeah. At, yeah. at this desktop or you got friends on, telling him what to do on the toilet, or you got time. Yeah. That's the thing with those messaging now. You got time to think of something. Yeah, and yeah, when you don't like in person, you ain't got that time. You gotta be quick on your feet. You gotta yeah. be, you know, on your toes. You gotta be willing to take some chances. You know, mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My heart goes yeah. out to this mo- mo- to this motherfucker for real, though. That's a, that's a. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. You know what? That's it's a harsh cool. reality. 
if you know if you ever see yourself in this type of situation too as well it's like it's okay to ever be in this situation and it's you know you're not gonna hit everything all the time so like as long as you're picking up certain things and you're like okay this works this doesn't work you're on your way to progression because you know we mentioned before change always happens whether you like it or not but progress is different something you got to work towards but and then justin you you also mentioned that you you know you don't do the whole online thing um online dating for me i haven't done apps but similar you know you you talk to them you get to know mm-hmm. them and then you know there's certain things that i've uh picked up and I recognize and which is you know the goal of online dating is to get them uh, offline as soon as possible because that's where the real attraction begins and uh, we mentioned this earlier when uh, you, you were like you're fishing in a barrel and what we mean by that is when you're on a dating app these are people that are already looking for like something from a uh, rom- form of romance or intimacy so it's kind of like you already know they want it Versus like, oh, I see this girl. I don't know a single thing about her, but I think she's, you know, she's fine. So I'm going to go and try to talk to her. You have no idea whether or not she's in the market or not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, most definitely. Like, that's one thing about, it. like you said, these dating apps. It's like, if, if this, someone's yeah, on, if someone's on the app, they're, they're, they're looking. Yeah, they're you looking. Know, you, you, whether you, or not you, they admit you, it or not. Yeah, you've cut that out. You cut out that whole middleman. And you can also put up, like, I mean, it's it's just, it's similar to Instagram. It's all this social media shit. Like yeah. you can put out the best image of yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. if you're kind of quirky in real life, yeah, and you meet somebody in real life, you go, you probably gonna have like a bit of a quirky energy about mm-hmm. you. Like that person can read that and kind of get a more uh, total vision of who you are, as opposed to like online where it's just like this still photo of me after I dieted, it, dieted and worked out for three months. To you know what I mean? Look, my best said I got this quote that I found. Uh, you know, it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of trickery to steal yeah. a Yaku, a, a word Yaku used to say back in the day. It's a lot of trickery that could go on with this online <laughs> shit. So you got to be careful with that. Yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. like, and I keep saying it, and I'm keep preaching into this shit sticks in. Like it's a to me, it's most definitely a sign of a lack of confidence. And when I, when we say dudes lack confidence, this is what I mean. I don't I don't always mean in your appearance. Although a lot of people have that, it's uh, you could it's be like the best looking dude. Y- yourself, you yeah, not, as we yeah. saw, because he was he was good enough to get a date. Mm-hmm. You know, he really was. Visually, he was good enough to yeah. just just off point that she was interested mm-hmm. on that, but to give him a shot. So yeah, yeah. Because, but that's the thing, though. He so, well, online dating or dating apps, you bypass the seduction process. Like, there is no, like, there's not, there's no direct approach where the guy could display his confidence and his strength. What did Quee say? <laughs> <laughs> How do I la- last longer in bed? All right. <laughs> this is another topic. How was it? Math. How you doing? Yeah. Math, math problems, Quee. Just work on some math problems and stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah, Kuz said, how soon should someone delete their dating apps uh, profile once they start dating someone? Hello, Jenna. How you doing? How soon? How soon? That's a good question. I, I'm not I'm not a professional at that. Um, so I'm not yeah, going to give that type of advice. I will but give my theory. I, 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 would, it, I equate it because I'm yeah. old and I'm from back even before text messenger was a big thing yeah. that you would call. I think you do it. At yeah. the same amount of time where you would stop calling other people back in the day, like there's a there's a thing where you're kind of like, okay, like I'm well, focused you on guys this. I'm not gonna be looking out it. like that anyway. Yeah. You guys and can then, talk about know. it, mm-hmm. but that but you know that's on you. Do it when you feel yeah. like it. You know, do it when you feel yeah. like it. Yeah. Let's see what else you say. I've seen Matt, people marry and problem. still have that profile. Yeah. Mm, dang, that's what. Listen, mm-hmm. there, there are different types of marriages. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, so Marcia, maybe, how you doing? Maybe yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe they have an understanding, you know. So yeah. Maybe. But that's the thing with dating apps, man. It's like they judge. Uh, they judge solely based on your appearance and your your. Ex- so how I see it is like your expectation is set higher, and usually. Mm-hmm. This so once that expectation is set so so much higher, and you know you behind the screen, of course you do want to either like talk, or or, at least like get a feel from each other before you 
waste your time with someone like that you don't even want to go out with you know what i mean so like i will always suggest you know maybe talking on the phone 10 minutes five ten minutes at tops get them out as soon as possible in person so, um you know get them uh get them the goal of online dating is to get them uh out uh get them offline as soon as possible but yeah it's just solely based off your appearance and uh just if your expectations are too high it's kind of like expectations yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but but then again it's like for the girl she's like all right well he's smooth over here how's he gonna like attract me in person how's he going to do that so because he already bypassed the whole seduction phase so now he has to re kind of like re-attract her but in person but he just skipped that la that first step and then now it's like oh shit. all right this i mean I get, I, I, I get what you're saying but it's the same thing like i i think mm -hmm. that uh I don't disagree with what you said, but I, I, I frame it like a little bit differently. Like when you're doing like online dating, you most definitely miss out on the opportunity of maybe like an instant connection or yeah. instant chemistry, which it, which some ways can uh, like carry, you know, a potential relationship really far in the, in the early stage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like when I saw this person, like I felt something right away. Like people mm -hmm. can use that for a long time. So like that cuts yeah. that out. Yeah. And you are coming in with like this person already has an expectation of you. If you're witty in your profile yeah, and, and, then, you like, know, and everything, they're thinking like he's a witty person. But the truth is you might not really be witty. You just had time yeah. to think of something to say. Yeah. That was great, and now they're coming in with like that perception. So, like, that's a whole other thing. That's that's once again, yes. that's part of the reason I've never yeah. been a big online dating fan mm -hmm. for my for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just I ain't got that kind. Of, yeah, I don't think it works. <laughs> I don't think it will so, work for me. Uh, you know what? But yeah, but that's the thing with online dating too. So it doesn't matter how long, how strong your profile looks, or how visually appealing to that other person is. It if like. If you don't know how to communicate well, especially in a flesh and physical, like being physical with that person in front of you, if you don't know how to communicate well, nothing you can do can salvage that. Nothing you can do because at the end of the day, you're trying to be compatible with each other physically, not over the internet. Yeah, uh, yeah you mean in person? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 in person, yeah, yeah, yeah. in, in person, person, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah not, it, it's yeah, yeah you, you just you need to, I, yeah. No, go ahead, man. Oh, no, no. I'm just uh, reading off of what Yaku said. He said, I never did dating apps because they ask, uh, ask you to do too much uh, filling in field, not trying to take a test. Yeah, I feel you. Dog, it, I ain't going to it. was one time. It was one time in my life where I, I really thought about doing, like, the online mm -hmm. date. I even had the page up and everything. And I was about to fill that shit out. And I was looking at it. And Wait, I was like, yeah. nah, I'm good. I can't. It yeah. just it didn't sit well. I feel like yeah. a piece of meat mm -hmm. on day on a day <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's all right, Quee. You know, I mean, you know, yeah. people got to eat. I guess you know mm -hmm. what I mean. If you if you okay being used for your body, Quee, you do what you do. I don't shame anybody for their yeah. choices. Okay, yeah, I don't shame. And just remember, do the math problems in your head. Did it help out with your confidence? <laughs> <you know? laughs> all right. <laughs> or think about what's on confidence. sale at uh at Safeway or something. I don't know. I'll figure yeah, do something, yeah. do something just, to just, distract your mind. But think also, about stats. <laughs> so you know, I was talking about like expectations being set high and everything. So a lot of the times when people actually use their photos, they're using photos from like their prime days or at least, you know, no pun intended, but Amazon Prime, let your boy know, Justin, Audible. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they know they, at this point. Yeah, they, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just get, we just gotta keep repeating it. But <laughs> they, they using photos from back then. Like they, they know they look good. They, they feeling themselves. And like all of a sudden, it's like, all right, you don't look the same. Or like maybe you put on a couple pounds or something. You know, it's like the expectations kind of like okay. You know, not that like if she were to see you, your she's she'd be like, oh shit, you look but, like but shit. No, like, the, I, the yeah, thing yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a you need a current representation of. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like real estate. Yeah, yeah like they do with their photos. Like, you see, like they they, yeah. they take a picture of that bedroom at an angle, and you think, "Ooh, this looks good." Big you go ass there, you room is like, yeah, nah, it's, it's a, a converted closet. <laughs> yeah. We we've all seen that, that situation. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, most most definitely. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, your profile should be an accurate representation of yourself. Mm-hmm. But even then, as we keep saying, and as this guy proved in this situation, at least, like, yeah. having a great profile doesn't mean, like, the work is over. You're instantly going to win and get a date. That's just that's just opening the door. You know, you still got to, you know, work on yourself and you need to deliver. Uh, <laughs> what's wrong with catfish? I have a cute face at a chubby way. <laughs> You ain't catfishing. Yeah. Right? You ain't catfishing. Okay, you just gotta, you know, it's it's it, you show them what it is. All right, yeah. which what, queen what would be catfishing is if you had like a picture of me and then you show. Them. All right, <laughs> yeah. that's that's catfishing. It's all, it's all you know? about filters now. That's why you said uh, you never know the truth. Take the blue pill. Take the I don't blue know pill. Red pill or blue pill, my friend. Get red pill. That's a whole. That's a matrix line, and that's a whole other. You know, that's part of the MIG towel when you start going red pill too, too hard. Uh, no, it's a lot of fil- it's a lot of things. Hey, yeah, dudes, too. Be careful, man. You know, it's it's black, so much filtery. Oh, let's yeah. not go on this. Let's not get on the subject. Go on. <laughs> no, what were you saying? What were you, you saying? Know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole lot of trickery out there. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you don't know what you're getting nowadays. Man. Yeah, I've yeah, seen. Yeah. I've seen those tutorials where the girl looked like she's Puerto Rican and then come out. Yeah, and also, come out. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she pale as hell. It's like, who is this woman? Where'd your eyes go? Like, yeah. So you got to be careful that's, with all that's this. That's racist, stuff. Justin. What's Where'd racist? Your eyes go? <laughs> your eyes uh, go? <laughs> nah, you know what I mean? They be doing the eye makeup. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Yeah. There's only one race that I, any, anyways, anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> now you be a racist, okay? Oh, now you be a racist. Right. If, if you guys like what you saw, hit that heart, hit that like on the bottom right. Uh, yeah, and let's and let's pr- let's pray for this dude, man. Let's let's let's, let's help him out, man. Hopefully I, he can. Yeah. You know, we don't know names. You know, we ain't gonna. This is anonymous, and Every, we like doing this. So if anybody yeah. got anything else they want to break down or any ideas, like shoot it to us. Let's have a discussion. Let's figure this shit out. But yes. if we know this dude, man. Let's get him some help. Let's get him an Audible subscription so he can start like listening to books on some confidence. He can learn some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Man, I can name about three, four he need to read off top. Thanks just for the to love, like. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Just, just to yeah. you know, just to get himself in the in the mindset, man. Because this yeah. dude, yeah, that's yeah. a that's a harsh one. I ain't think. That yeah. That's, yeah. You know, have if, you ever been on a date with a woman before? Dog, I was just for to bring it up, man. If if I could <laughs> cry, that would have brought a tear to my eye. I'm like, God damn, man. I mean, damn. yeah. No, you know, that hey, helps. you know what? It's all about learning. It's all about learning. I've I've done my fair shares of dumb shit in the past. And I've learned, but it's it's <laughs> the, it's the willingness. Yeah, for real. Yeah, let's see. Give that boy some David David Goggins. Nah, Goggins would kill him. <laughs> Goggins would kill him, yeah. and I like David Goggins. Okay, I actually listened to his book on Audible. All right, so uh, unofficial sponsorship. You, you can't hurt me. It's a great book, <laughs> but what you learn is he is insane. All right. <laughs> that man is insane. So man. yeah, he has what what the great Patrice O'Neill called the tenacity of crazy. He's really a crazy person. He's able to channel yeah. it. All right, but yeah, yeah. And if you guys could like whoever's watching, whether you're watching live or you know after a live, you guys could send us a, a direct message, a DM. Two to three paragraphs. It's just something that you, you know, we we will keep everything anonymous. So there's gonna be no names. Don't send me any names. I don't want to accidentally say it. But uh, yeah, Justin, yeah. is there anything that you would like to uh put into this? Yeah, just you know, as I keep saying it again, I'm gonna keep working, keep working on yourself, man. You gotta get yeah. that confidence. Confidence is king, mm-hmm. man. This mm-hmm. shit is key, you know. Yeah, and so, don't yeah. seek for a reassurance from the girl because that's her job. She asked for you. Don't seek reassurance from anybody. All right, you, you need to be the, the but, know, to be unaffected. Yeah. All right, you have to be unaffected. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yep. Hell yeah. All right. Well, if you guys mm-hmm. find this video content of value, you guys can show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equal to the value of this video. The details will be in the descriptions. Until next time, we are out. Right. Y'all say peace and don't be a Cosby. Yeah, don't be a Cosby. Be a Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right man. All right, man. Peace. peace.